Here are six of the seven organic functional groups I want you to be aware of. You know how to identify them when you're looking at a molecule. First one is an alcohol. It's characterized by a single bond to an oxygen and another single bond to a hydrogen. So there's the OH functional group. The next one is an amine. It's characterized by a single bond uh, to a nitrogen with two hydrogens on the nitrogen. Now there's another video that describes the different flavors of an amine. There's a primary, secondary, and a tertiary amine. An aldehyde is a single bonded to a carbon with a double bond to an oxygen and then a single bond to a hydrogen. A ketone is a carbon with two single bonds and a double bonded oxygen. Carboxylic acid has a sing, uh, carbon doubly bonded to an oxygen, singly bonded to another oxygen with a single bond to that particular oxygen. And it has a single bond on the other side. Carboxylic ester, or just an ester, has a double bonded oxygen to it, single bonded oxygen, and this R is some kind of carbon functionality. An example would be CH2CH3. Notice that where this bond is open on all these compounds, they show examples of some kind of carbon functionality connected to that single bond if you examine all these structures carefully. And that's typically what will occur if you have organic molecules. And the seventh functional group I want you to be aware of is called an ether. An ether is a compound where there's an oxygen connected to some carbon functionality on either side and it's connected to the carbons with a single bond. An example would be here where there's a methyl group on one side and an ethyl group on the other.